Maybe it's just me, but I've been seeing a lot of young couples online with one, two, maybe even three pets before they have children. It's interesting that we've gotten so far past meeting our basic needs that, that we're now caring, spending resources, energy, money on these furry friends. I want to make it clear, I'm not making a judgment about any particular couple that decides to have pets before they have children. That's not my point. What I want to point out though is a larger cultural shift where the value of pets has skyrocketed and the value of children has dropped below any level of common sense. I remember an interviewer years ago walking around a college campus asking college students this question. You're in front of a pool and your dog is drowning and there is a baby drowning. Who do you say? And I kid you not, many, many people said, oh, I would choose my dog. Yeah, my dog. I know my dog. I love my dog. My dog's basically a part of the family. And whether you're a Christian or not, I would hope that that would shock you, that that would like, what the heck? Why, it, why would somebody say that? But it makes sense if we begin to understand the secular worldview. You see, only through the Christian worldview can we declare that all human life is valuable, worthy of protection, and is more valuable than animal life. However, in the secular worldview, this distinction is blurred. If we are all subjects of evolutionary processes, then an animal is actually just a lower form of human, a less evolved form of human. As many secular scientists declare freely and openly, we are all animals. Not only that, but according to the secular worldview, there is no foundations for or morality, right and wrong. You see, according to the evolutionary humanistic worldview, we're just basically stardust, chemical reactions, and chemical reaction, uh, re reactions shouldn't need to do anything. It's just stardust bumping into stardust. There is no ought that we can derive from the universe. It's just chemical reactions. So when you ask a person that is consistent in their secular worldview, who should you save? They actually have no obligation, according to their worldview, if they're being consistent, to save anybody. Because it's not right or wrong, they're, that doesn't exist, we're simply chemical reactions. But, what they choose to do, is what they want to do. There's no ought or should, so they'll save their dog, because that's what they want to do. But we know that's not true. You know in your heart, that a baby is more valuable than a dog. You know it. However, our culture has suppressed that truth in unrighteousness as we read about in Romans 1. Because of that, we are a culture of death. We promote uninhibited abortion as a social good. The culture discourages people from having many children because of the impacts it could have on global warming or overpopulation. It tells women that they'll never be truly fulfilled or satisfied until they abandon their roles as mothers and mother figures for a life of worldly ambition. I know we've come a long way from talking about couples and dogs, and once again, I'm not judging these people, right? That's not my goal to judge them. Uh, some people can't even have kids and I would never want to rob somebody of the levity and joy that a pet can bring to a lonely household. That's not my intention at all. My, my intention to communicate to you is simply this, children are a blessing. Children are a blessing. And it really takes a culture of death to see them as a curse. So whatever age you are, whether you have kids or you don't have kids or you, or you interact with kids at Sunday school or just within your family, whatever it is, treat them as a blessing. The world sees them as a burden and it's our job to come back at them with a clear message that look, children are not a burden, they are not a curse, they are a blessing and a gift from God. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do subscribe down below because I'm putting out new videos all the time. If you'd like to partner with me and this ministry in helping people follow Jesus daily, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple and sign up to become a patron. It's five bucks a month and it is our goal to get to 50 patrons this month. You can be a big part of that. So please sign up link in description. That would be absolutely amazing. God bless and I'll see you next time. See ya.